Brad's view of it. As he made it back to pit road. Oh, Brad. He's in there. Sounds like we're going to need to pry that splitter forward. Brad just got loose. Brad got loose off the corner there, turn four, and uh, are the last two to get through from Rusty Wallace. That was Ryan Newman's tire right there bouncing over the fence. There's Dale Jr. right there. Look at him. I think he got just a little bit of damage on that left front. He's another driver that we've seen a few times smoke that left front, get down into these corners, these high braking areas. You can see right when that tire went down, put on the brakes all you want. You just can't stop soon enough. Unfortunate for Kirk Bush today. You're on board with the 22 here. That's Christopher Bell, the 20 and right behind him. Well, we see Bell use that top side to get a nice run down into turn one, carrying a lot of momentum. Inside. A little tough to tell. It looks like Bell maybe just slipped up the racetrack just a little. So you can, yeah, see right there, Denny's car just doesn't turn, and uh, Brad Keselowski turns down. Ryan Blaney, nowhere to go. Cautions. All the way down on the bottom of the racetrack. Side, the 18 is with you. One inside. 18 just wrecked us here, just pushed us off the three. Hold on, Justin. See, the, the problem there is you Rusty Wallace in the Miller number two. See the stage drive find out behind the Kurt's car. Oh, Daryl, no time to react. No, none no. whatsoever. And Rusty has taken his Dodge to the garage. It's tore pretty good right now. It's just the front got the radiator. The bad news is Chase Elliott can go still clear, win this all race. All clear, all clear. Checking up on the far wall there. Keep going low. Come on, low, 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 low. Keep coming low. So now it's a battle. Now it's a battle between Keselowski and Logano. They have to assume that Chase Elliott's going to win this race, and if they do, and now we're on board. Brad Keselowski, you see, enters the corner. Outside, tight right, tight right. And it's just that flat corner, no grip. We talked about it. It's really a virtual replay to multiple wrecks we saw last year. That inside car gets just gets. Light dodge. Oh, there's a contact yeah, there. Low, low, clear, low. See, we talked our countdown show. Got here, guys. Got in the pants. Or nothing all. Michael McDowell made it through with minimal damage. Ouch. See Christopher Bell go by with some damage. Let's ride with him. car rust your stall as hard as you can the car just didn't get stopped he, I mean obviously it's you know falls on Brad but I just wonder if he didn't anticipate it because the brakes weren't working quite as effectively as he had planned on. but if you get right on the 22 here just watch he get turn he gets pounded in the left rear 
Joey Logano in the garage. Let's hear from him, Marty. And he just watched that replay and was just shaking his head in disbelief. Uh... Oh, right, oh front. right front. Yeah, I saw it blow the finger up. I think that was a brake rotor. Are you saying it was? Yeah, and that's why it turned left. I think he that disintegrated the right front brake rotor right as he went to the brakes. You saw it come through the hood, and what that do? It just turned the car to the left because all it had was left front brake. It turned it dead left. I know that. There's Sam right. view. This is from Sam Hornish. That this took place. Yeah, this is higher than what we've seen anybody else. You could hear him kind of play with the uh, throttle your break, on it. Hold your brake, hold your brake, hold your brake, hold your brake. And the other cars came piling in because you're fast part of the racetrack on that exit of turn right, two. Man, we got it, both ends right here. Well, you heard uh, Rusty. There's the path right there. Yeah, it wasn't intentional on Jimmy's part, but definitely that's what caused this, was that contact from Jimmy's front bumper. Sir, talk to me, all right, buddy. Okay. Let's, uh, we, we think we've seen an angle. Uh, check the, we see his hand out the window. Okay, you gotta remember some folks are doing over 180 mile an hour. That's a hard lick. You're doing 180 mile an hour down that back straightaway. When something like that happens, you just hang on. You have so little time to react. Still down there. Still down there. Still down there. Still down there.